that experimentation is always an important thing because you don't always know exactly what is going to move the needle. What, what, what is the metric that is going to, you know, just um, be the most important for you. And every business is different, you know, even, you know, between different membership sites, different uh, metrics can mean different things. Um, I do think, you know, generally, you know, the revenue numbers are important, you know, to, to at least start out looking at. Uh, but as you kind of get more involved in the business, you know, um, you know, things like churn is, is an important thing, you know, figuring out, you know, how many customers are leaving um, and what, you know, it, it, it can basically give you uh, the data that you need to make decisions about your business. You know, what, why are they leaving? You know, um, uh, you know, why are they, you know, how, how are they having issues with their experience with you? Are you not providing value uh, to them and why? why? Why is this not a valuable thing to them? Um, and so that's, uh, there's just so much to look at. You have to kind of hone in on uh, the metrics that are important, you know, to, to your business. And so... Uh, in our case, I mean, I think that a lot of the things that we look at, you know, include, um, you know, I, sorry, I, just I, before we jump on yeah, to, go the, ahead. to the next one, um, you mentioned churn there. Do you want to just um, give people an understanding of how you would work that out? Yeah. So, um, so churn is um, so so churn is a metric that is based on like an automatic uh, recurrence. So, like like something that's so somebody signs up for a subscription and they're now um, committed to an automatic monthly or annual or quarterly, whatever payment rate. And so uh, churn is the percentage of people that are canceling those. So it's not necessarily a reflection of, you know, refunds or of, you know, anything like that. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a reflection of, Hey, the, this is the percentage of people that are, opting out of your your service so that's that's kind of what churn is and i think that the the idea is that the more uh, and, and, you know and you'll see this you know if you get into um you know some of these um SaaS style uh, record or metric um packages like bear metrics or chart mogul or something like that they they track things like uh mrr which is monthly recurring revenue and so that and that you know, to me at least was confusing at first too, because I was thinking, you know, um, this is the amount of money that I make every month. And that's not the case. That's the amount of money that, um, or the, 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 the amount of money committed, you know, so like I have, you know, $30,000 worth of subscriptions, right? So there, you know, that's how much, you know, how much money people have committed, right? And so your your churn is going to be the opposite of that, right? So it's going to be okay. So I've got this amount, and then churn is going to whittle that MRR down, uh, kind of a thing. Um, and so your job as a you know a membership site owner is to try to reduce you know churn and increase your MRR. And uh, and sometimes it can feel like you know you know two steps forward, one step back, kind of a thing, right? Because you you just keep you keep seeing that you know your 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 churn your your MRR will go up and then your churn will kind of bump that down a little bit, and you just kind of have to keep doing this thing to get your. But the the more MRR you have, you know, you'll you'll see like if you you know get into you know groups that that do memberships and also like SaaS products, um, that's kind of a metric that a lot of them will use industry wide to just kind of show the size of their business or kind of, you know, the, um, you know, you've got this many members that are committed to pay this amount of money every month kind of a thing. 